We're supposed to take care of our elderly. Sure, they can be set in their ways, but what happened to Wall and Corolla isn't fair. It started with a broken air conditioner that should have cost $1,300 to fix. It's ended with a $25,000 debt and a bankruptcy notice. Well, Corolla, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. It's been a rough couple of years, huh? Yeah, it has, it has been. Very. How are you feeling at the moment? Nervy. <laughs> Nervy, exhausted, just, you know, stressed out, basically. For Walter and Corolla Sadlow, Mount Gilead Estate in Sydney's southwest was meant to be a place where they could relax and live out their golden years. So, to be clear, you're both now facing bankruptcy and it's all over a broken air conditioning yep. unit. Yep. Can I ask this, Wall? You've lost. Right, yep. and you've lost everything. It's taken a huge physical toll on you. Yep. It's taken every last penny that you had. Why sit down and talk to us now? Because I, I believe it's, it, it's got to be made public. You can't, I wouldn't like to see this happen to other people. When Wall and Corolla's home was being built 12 years ago, they were told they could add air conditioning for an extra $10,000. It was a no-brainer. But when it broke in summer 2018, the drama began. Jeez, it's been tough for you, hasn't it? It's bloody tough. It turns out in the agreement, maintenance isn't covered by the retirement village. But Wall believed it should be and decided he'd have a go fighting it. Unable to afford a lawyer, his only option was to take the case to the Civil and Administrative Tribunal, a place he's been before to fight for another resident. He knew he could represent himself and typically each party covers its own legal costs. I couldn't afford a solicitor, it was crazy. To, uh, uh, I watch, all I wanted the tribunal to say, look, this is either the facts all I want is my money back. But the retirement village operator, Australian Retirement Holdings, sent in the big gun. So while well, you're facing a barrister and a solicitor, did it <laughs> feel like a fair fight? No, of course not. it's not a fair fight. When you're a retired pensioner uh, with a printing background, uh, you do your best. So you went to the tribunal? Yes. You lost? Yes. Were you willing to cop that verdict? As far as we're concerned, I did at my best, and that was it. But it wasn't. The retirement village operator went back to the tribunal and asked for their $59,000 legal bill to be paid by Wall and Corolla. The tribunal agreed to $25,000. Because I had tried to help an elderly couple a few years back with the same problem with air conditioner. That was held against me in youth and court. They said, it's a frivolous application. It shouldn't have been done. I should have known better. And that's the reason they went for cost. Mount Gilead declined to be interviewed, but told us in a statement, the costs order made by the tribunal was made and enforced because of Mr. Sadlow's ongoing and relentless behavior. How did you feel finding out that you now had I'm angry that, that, you know, just, just spring that on us. Not it's fair. not fair at all. You agreed to pay the $25,000, but you don't have the money. So what was the plan that you put forward? Well, I made an offer. I said, look, we're pensioners. I had a strike some years back. We haven't got much money. I'm prepared to pay the bill over an extended period of time. And I offered a small amount. Well, I remember what my grandpa and grandma used to do to give us $10 in a Christmas card for the grandkids. I know how much they had to cut back to be able to afford that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's tight on the yeah. pension. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is tight. So you offered that. You even showed them that your personal bank account had exactly $215.20. That's in. correct. That was absolutely correct. Now, I would say that's the time when you show a bit of heart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. One would think so. 
And what did you get instead? Well, two years later, we got a bankruptcy notice, 23rd of December, out of the blue, when everything was shutting down, and I desperately sent letters, emails. I've read those emails, and they are the emails of a desperate, scared man who thinks he's about to lose well, his home. who wants to be put in the bankruptcy? I mean, that was absolutely disgusting. They sent you a bankruptcy notice two days before Christmas. Was that a tactic, do you think, to put the fear of God in you? Of course. Absolutely. It put a fear of God into us. Two days before Christmas. Corolla burst into tears. I mean, and I, I just felt devastated. I, I couldn't believe it. Could not believe that somebody could be so vicious and cruel. In a panic, facing bankruptcy, the couple had no choice but to use Corolla's small inheritance from her mother. $15,000, every last cent to their name. But they still need to scrape together $1,000 a month to pay off the rest of the legal bills. Is this how you saw these years of retirement playing out? No. Well, it's it's not a good it's not a good year. <laughs> you know, it could have been better, but uh, anyway. So you're on a pension, so that works out about seven hundred dollars a week. Correct. Yes. And now okay. two hundred and fifty yeah. of that has to go to pay off this legal debt. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So how how are you going to find that money? You got to well, cut back some way. Uh, well, we're going to have to cut back. Simple as that. Carol, I already know how much you go through the bills and you double check, you buy yep. stuff that's on special and... Yes. Can you cut back any further? I have to. I've got to find... I just have to cut back where, where you know, where I can. And, and, you know, probably not go out for meals or cut back on that too, you know, maybe once... We go out we're, we're once, once every six weeks. Yeah. Mm. Up to MacArthur Square, little cafe, you know, have a bite or whatever. That's gone. That's finished. Um, That's your only treat to yourself. The movies, it's gone. In the end, one couple's decision to fight for what they believed was fair has gone from a $1,300 bill into a $25,000 debt and the horror of a bankruptcy notice. It's cost Wall and Corolla almost everything. Have they broken you, Wall? No. No. They have not broken me. They won't break me. And you can read the full statement from the Mount Gilead Retirement Village on our website. But how on earth did such a small issue snowball? And we now have two pensioners facing financial ruin and so much stress. We asked the Retirement Village if, in good faith, it would wipe the legal costs and give Wall and Corolla their $15,000 back. We'll keep you posted.